There are a lot of dog shit games out there right now within the shooter genre. Um, there are some good ones, don't get me wrong, but there are a lot of trash ones. And when I say trash, um, I'm speaking of the form of they want as many people to play the game as possible. That's not bad from a business perspective, but they want people to feel instant gratification, satisfaction as soon as they touch a controller. Without having to put any work in, without having to put any effort to work on accuracy or anything like that. You just, they want them to feel satisfaction the second their hands touch that controller. And a lot of games, especially first person shooters or just shooters in general, cater to this and it ends up hindering their game drastically i want to provide examples of games that are currently doing that to this day how it is ruining their game chasing players away hurting their community and I also talk about why halo infinite could be that game that bounces back that turn things around that kind of sets a template that kind of brings to be that beacon that shining light of things that can be different let's start with this feeling of instant satisfaction this feeling that game developers want to provide their customers because i don't even want to call us a community or gamers anymore when developers just look at us as goddamn money signs and i know you guys see this with battle passes being in 60 dollars games dlcs you got emotes you got fucking goddamn skins you know accessories blah 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 everything you could possibly think of under the sun is being monetized along with the game becoming some form of of a live service it just keeps going and while that state i think is going absolutely nowhere with that in mind game developers looking at us as dollar signs plays directly into this instant satisfaction because if you feel that instant satisfaction when you pick up that controller when you touch that game for the first time guess what it's a good way to get you hooked it's a good way to hold your attention it's a good way to get you spending money now how do they create this form or this sense of satisfaction more specifically i'm speaking on shooters when you look at a game like destiny and you truly look at that sandbox it is a sandbox where you can be literally one shot by every single thing within that game from special weapons to heavy to grenades with the right build to melees you name it it is insane okay and what that does is at mid level it creates a very frustrating experience because you're constantly getting one shot but you have a solid understanding of the game at a high level it makes the game almost unplayable and what I mean by unplayable, I mean that if you go look at the highest tier of players and you watch a game of Trials, 99% of that game is people not playing. It's people camping behind walls, people using swords to 3 peak, people literally doing everything they can to avoid showing face and don't want their head ripped off by snipers or get one shot by something, them building up super energy so they can one shot someone else. But it is made that way so that little Billy who has never touched a game can get on and feel good about getting a kill because if he feels good about getting a kill and he enjoys that maybe he got 10 kills his first time every playing destiny that's a good way to get him invested it's a good way to get little billy rolling right he doesn't have to go in and practice and work on his accuracy or put in time learn maps strategize all he has to do is fucking go on insurmountable skull for it, get one exotic, shoulder charge around, and one shot everybody. Chances are that if he has that exotic, he just shoulder charges for an entire game of control, he's probably going to kill at least 10 people. What that feeds into is this guy spending money because he's having fun now. He may not be playing the game a whole lot, which means that maybe he works a lot. Maybe he has different responsibilities. Maybe he has more money than time. So. With that in mind, he's enjoying a game. He got on, got some kills. You know, he shoulder charged the hell out of people. And what that does, it creates this cycle for this guy to get invested. He starts spending money on emotes. He starts spending money on skins that he likes. He starts spending money on exotic ornaments in the universe and blah, blah, blah. And that guy is spending more money in the game than he is time. So as a business, Bungie looks at that they take that and they run with it if they can please more people like him that is all that matters that guy is spending more money than more time in the game and a lot 
of games are sticking with this mentality and running with this mentality and then going over when you think of a game like Valorant and just how terrifying it is to play a game like that you blink and you die like you can't even peek corners in the game you can't even get information without using an ability and it's an exact clone almost an exact replica of CSGO just mixed with Overwatch almost zero originality and I believe that that is created one for like a quick cash grab that probably wasn't a lot of money put into making that game but it is still fun in its own right and more importantly what it does is create this almost novice this almost nobody who's never touched a game to get in there and be able to get kills on some sort of level because you die so fast all it takes is for you to be looking the wrong way at a certain time or you to be you know fighting in a gunfight with a teammate like you die so incredibly fast and it just caters to this play style of not having to put in time into the game don't get me wrong people that do put in time will always be better will always probably be more successful within that game but instead of making them put in the time they have this so so terrible bare entry level where you need one shot by everything so you can feel that satisfaction the second you touch the game and when you feel that satisfaction back to this money cycle you know and it just goes more and more and more and the same thing with something like Fortnite with the shotgun battles and building like that's all that game was you would see Daquan run around running triple shotguns winning games like just two pumping one pumping everybody bro and it just it's like almost no room for error you know and I want to speak on Halo at this point and transition over a bit because Halo was the groundbreaker for shooters for me it got me into shooters um, and what Halo allows you to do is it allowed people who really put time into that game to be very successful really dominant it allowed you to also be able to make mistakes I think Halo was probably one of the first shooters online that provided players with shields okay and what that allowed you to do is make mistakes allowed you to take some damage get into cover recharge your shield if you're getting shot in the back you can bounce a grenade off the wall turn on that opponent shit on them you know it allowed for you to be creative it allowed for you to make mistakes it allowed for you to team shoot it allowed for different transitions of playing the map knowing the spawns playing your cover um i really loved that aspect about halo and that's what i'm hoping halo infinite brings back within the shooter genre we are heavily missing that there's almost no games out there to date where you actually have time to make a mistake where you have time to think about something you're not getting punished just for looking for information around the corner um there's so many games that is so unforgiving because it's creating this element this environment for people of almost no skill to get on and get a kill so they can get invested into the game so they can then spend money in less time and it cripples and hinders this community i've seen people completely chased away from games like this um, not want to touch it completely burn bridges and on top of this persona or almost mentality they create where your money is more valuable than your time um cough cough destiny they're not even fixing their games right like they're also fucking the players over that are continuously playing and continuously coming back but on top of that they're not even fixing their game bro right there there's a point where there's cheaters in the game for six months i think they're still in the game there's times where you couldn't even stay within the game of trials you're getting kicked and booted the functionality wasn't there they'll leave broken weapons within their sandbox for months to come i know ea uh respawn has had terrible servers for god knows how long people still complaining about no regs within apex legends if you guys don't know what that means or you shoot someone in a chest or wherever you hear the hit marker you see it hit their armor and then you get no registration and the damage does not go off you know things that have been in their games for months to come man and i mean sometimes maybe years with bugs and they are not fixing this but you know what they push out that battle pass they push out that new season they push out the new cosmetics and it's just a cycle of your money is more valuable than your time and i get it it's a business but let me know if you guys are excited for any shears coming out in the near future it doesn't involve you having to snort three lines or crack just so you can react in half a millisecond and you don't die getting your head ripped off all 
or you're simply a little more forgiving or maybe you're excited for Halo Infinite guys I'm curious to hear you guys thoughts and if you guys made it this far in the video make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it hit that subscribe button join the chosen ones and remember you have been selected